Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, again, four and one last week. So that makes us uh, 14, uh, 18 and four over the last five weeks. No one else can do it like the Boxing Bookie. We are back here. We're going to get into Zach Parker and Tyrone Zeig. I think I'm saying that correct. German fighter. Uh, not a lot of tape on it, but I was able to find some tape on him. He had a long layoff. We're going to get into it. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what we're doing. The odds makers, as the Boxing Bookie does, I know how to consistently make you money, as my track record shows. Uh, like I said, 18 and 4 over the last four weeks, and you can you can pull it all up. It's all there. Watch my videos. They're all out. Um, I don't gamble, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. We use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas, but um, if you gamble, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. There's always somewhere we can make money, and I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it every single week. Also, join the Patreon. The Patreon for just $5 a month gets to the lock of the week. Uh, the lock of the week we hit again last week. Of course we did. Um, <coughs> we hit it every week. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, it gets you – you can request – a handicap breakdown, any fight where you get a free T-shirt, you get a ton. I'm sorry about that. You get a ton of perks um, with that lock of, um, with the Patreon. The Patreon again. The link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. Uh, please also subscribe uh, to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All right, let's get into the. the um, let's get into the show. Zach Parker, Tyrone Zeig. Zach Parker is a good fighter. I like Zach Parker. He was close to fighting Canelo. I thought he was dominating the Ryder fight. Uh, the Ryder broke his jaw, and he quit. He did not pull Ben Rodriguez and fight through it. Ben Rodriguez broke his jaw in two places, fought through it. Uh, Zach Parker quit right away. Gave it up right away. Outside of that, I, I like Zach Parker, his skills. Good body puncher. Measures distance really, really well. He keeps you at bay. He can get in and out. Good combination puncher. Decent speed, decent hand speed. What I don't like about him is he's a little – not as slick as he thinks he is. He's not quite as slick as he thinks. He'll drop his hands. He'll do things like that. I'm not a fan of that. I don't think he's going to come back and hurt him in this fight because he's going to outclass his opponent. But I, moving forward, I, I don't like that. Uh, he's not that slick. Pernell Whitaker, he's not. He's a good counter puncher, though. He, like I said, he comes – he gets in and out really well. Not a ton of power, although he's got some knockouts. Um, which suggests he's not feather fist, but he's not a big hitter either. He doesn't really commit to his punches. He uses his angles well, though. Uh, he re really, really does. Good feet, really, really good fundamental footwork, quick feet. And he uses a variety of angles. Like I said, he's a good fighter. He, he, he does things really well. I, I like him as a fighter. I like his skills. Just him quitting really concerns me. Quick Quick, slick jab. Picks his shots really well. Pretty high IQ guy. Needs to throw more. Stands around too much. You know, he's, he's, like, he picks his well, but he doesn't throw enough. Like, like Not everything's got to be. He's, he's, he's a, what, what do they say? Uh, quantity over quality guy, but he, he quality over quantity guy, but he's got to throw in a little more quantity too. But the shots he throws, he, he throws them well. He places them well. I just don't like how he carries his lead hand low. And I wish he threw a little more. He's not a perfect fighter, but I think Zach Parker's a pretty good prospect. A pretty good contender, whatever you want to call him at this point of his career. I like him. Tyrone Zyke. I, I wish I could say say about him. Aggressive, come forward guy. He's going to be out of his league. Mixes up head and body well. It is, his KO ratio is just, uh, just a little over 50%. 27 one one 15 knockouts. But he seems to have a little more power than his record may suggest. To me, he looked like the heavier hitter, although his competition is not good. A little bit sloppy. He's also a good body puncher. He took a long layoff. From 2019, he didn't fight again until 2023. Keep that in mind. He's not super athletic. His body is wide open. You can nail him to the body. It's like I said, Zach Park is a good body puncher. 
I, I, that's why I think Parker may stop him late. And Parker, despite not being a huge hitter, may get another stoppage because this guy is wide open to the body. He's going to try to stand in, and if he does, Parker's going to rip to the body, rip to the body. I think Parker ultimately could stop him late. What I do like about it is, I, uh, is the left hook, the lead left hook is good. He uses his left hook in, in the exchange, but he also leads with it. It's quite good. But ultimately, there's just nothing special about him. He doesn't really do anything exceptionally well. He's, he's got decent power, good left hook, come forward guy, decent volume, but not a huge hitter. He's not particularly fast. He's not really fundamentally sound. Like, he's, he gets sloppy. He's pretty basic. He's got a basic skill set. I don't really – like, Zach Parker's a level or two or three – ahead of him. So how do we make money on this fight? Well, I'm going to show you how to make money on this fight. Let's take a look at it. It's real simple. The odds are not terrible. Like I would make this a lot wider. Like to me, this is wider than this Peta fight, the Williams Peta fight which we broke down yesterday. It's I'm going to say only minus 575 given the caliber of fighter Zach Parker is and the caliber that Tyrone Zyg is this is too close so I'm going to make a two times bet and this is probably going to be part of my life of the week <laughs> um, minus 575 times two, two times bet so I, in this case $2 makes you 34 bucks, thirty, almost 35 bucks it's not terrible, we're going to use this and if you can Get odds, a props on a stoppage. You might want to consider that depending on what it is. I, I kind of like Parker by stoppage here, but it, it depends on what the odds are, um, how much I would bet on it. But right here, $200 bet makes you $35. It's easy money. Lock it in. Zach Parker is levels ahead of this kid. Zach Parker is not a bad fighter at all. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Again, just buy all a month. Gets the lock of the week. Gets to ask the bookie anything. I'll handicap any fight for you. Anything you want at all. Uh, it gets you the free t-shirt, a ton of other perks, just $5 a month, join the Patreon, uh, be a part of the family, and ensure your support on the Patreon. Also, subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, it is March 10th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.